Hey hello everyone, welcome back to your YouTube channel Literate Lens. If you ever wanted to know what a book is about without reading the whole book, you're in the right place. Stick around, and we will explore some awesome book summaries together. You have chosen to listen to the summary of How to Sell Without Selling Step-by-step -step marketing formula to attract ready-to-buy clients Create passive income and make more money while making a difference. By Terry Dean Introduction Is knowing how to sell something a natural talent that only some people have? Do you have to be an excellent persuader to be a successful salesperson? Should you spend years in college to truly understand entrepreneurship? In this book, you will learn how to create a marketing campaign that will grab anyone's attention. You will find out how to attract customers and turn them into clients. You will know how to consistently satisfy them so that they will always patronize your business. Throughout this book, Terry Dean uses his decades of experience as a business coach. He will give you specialized advice for a range of industries. No matter what your business is, you will learn something new from this book. Having a business should not intimidate you. Anyone can do it but only a few can truly thrive. If you apply the lessons you will learn here, you will no doubt be successful. Are you ready to take your business to the next level? Yes, this will work for you. To the average client, all businesses look the same. Talking about your product's features and benefits will get you nowhere. Sure, you have helped hundreds of similar clients with their problems before, but your client thinks their problem is unique. Therefore, the way you approach your clients must be unique as well. You need something to capture their attention. One way of doing this is to use the strategic myth. The strategic myth is telling your clients a personal story. It is letting them know why you are there to help them. Especially, it will convince them that only you can solve the problem that they have. Your strategic myth will strongly establish a connection between you and the client. All the money you put into marketing is wasted if you cannot stand out. Your clients are looking for someone with whom they can feel a connection. Do you want to grow your business without being drained by the effort? Then offer something that no one else offers. That is authenticity and passion. Specialize in a niche that you are passionate about. It might seem sensible to offer a product or service that appeals to a broader audience. However, this reduces your ability to stand out. You will enjoy working with your clients if you are doing something you are passionate about. Your clients will sense your passion and they will keep on coming back to you. Edmund Wu is one of the many entrepreneurs who became successful by niching down. In other words, he specializes in the wants of a particular group. He owns Saskatoon Lodge, a gourmet restaurant that specializes in low-carb diet meals. Before he niched down, Edmund owned a regular restaurant. With time, he realized his job was affecting his health negatively. He just ate the food in his restaurant without paying attention to his diet. His busy schedule also gave him no time to exercise. That is when he decided to make a change and get back to the fitness levels he had in his youth. Working on his personal health gave Edmund an idea. He decided to change the focus of his restaurant and began offering low-carb diet meals. Edmund knew that business professionals like himself had little or no time to cook. Other five-star restaurant meals were full of calories and unhealthy ingredients. The competition in the weight loss sector was also intense. But Edmund was able to succeed due to his uniqueness. No one in his area offered low-carb, ready-to-eat gourmet quality meals. Proven 5-Step Persuasion Formula how do some businesses convert visitors into frequent long-term clients? Why are some people incredibly successful despite having equally talented competitors? The author Terry Dean and Dr. Glenn Livingstone analyzed business websites for years. They closely studied what successful businesses had in common. The result of their work was a simple five-step formula to achieve success. However, this formula is not limited to just online businesses. In fact, it is not even limited to the business world. The five-step formula is a method you can use to persuade people in general. First, create a desperate problem. 
Clearly define your audience. Do not make a single marketing ad for the general public. Focus on groups in society and their specific needs. Once you identify your audience, find out what their problems are. Pain acts as a great source of motivation for people. People will want to be your clients if you can solve a problem that causes them pain. Once you find a problem, remind them about it. Help them to look at the problem from every angle. Show them that they need a solution. Specifically, it is the solution that only you can give them. Apple is a good example of the execution of this first step. Apple has many advertisements for their laptop, the MacBook Pro, but none of these ads talk about the benefits of simply having a computer. They know that someone using a PC for the first time will never buy a MacBook. Apple demonstrates how a PC software does not always work well with its hardware. This will result in making multiple trips to the repair store. Apple talks about how convenient it is to use the tools in a MacBook rather than a regular PC. They focus on the problems faced by their target audience when it comes to other laptops. Second, offer a unique promise. Many competitors will offer to solve the same problem that you are trying to solve for your client. When that happens, your unique promise is what you use to stand out among the rest. Best Buy, the customer electronics retailer, is well known for its unique promise. They have a price match guarantee. This is a unique promise to match the prices of any local retailer. Best Buy implemented this policy because they were losing business to online retailers. It proved to be effective. Third, provide them overwhelming proof. Suppose you have successfully identified your client's desperate problem. You have also made a unique promise to give them a solution. Now you need to prove to your client that you can keep your promises. Proof can be offered through testimonials. Your experience, certifications and qualifications act as proof of your capabilities. However, your strongest form of proof is a demonstration. If you are selling a product, you could give them free samples. If you are providing a service, your demonstration could be a few free sessions. Once clients see that your promises are legitimate, they will be more likely to buy from you. Fourth, make an irresistible offer. Your client wants to feel like they are having a great deal. If you can give them that, they will want to keep on buying from you. Dentists and chiropractors offer discounts for your first session all the time. Why do they do this? The discount is a small loss. They can earn much more from you throughout your entire lifetime if you are a regular client. The purpose of the irresistible offer is to make that first sale and start a new business relationship. Fifth, give people a reason to act now. People are motivated to act when they are faced with a deadline. If you want people to decide to become your client, you will have to give them a little push. You need to let them know that your offer won't be available forever. Examples of companies using a reason to act now are all around us. Retailers offer discount sales during every major holiday. Coupons with deadlines are more likely to get redeemed. How to eliminate sales resistance by not selling Being a salesperson is a tough job. You want the best for your customers, but they do not trust you. You approach them with kindness and positivity. They respond with suspicion. No one believes the words of a salesperson at first. So how do you solve this problem? The answer is to stop using traditional sales tactics. Most salespeople approach their clients aggressively. They will ask for a list of reasons the customer won't buy their product. Then the salesperson will try to fix those problems. This kind of salesperson overwhelms the customer with arguments. They will pressure their customer into saying yes. While this method works, it does not leave you with a happy client. Your client will feel manipulated. They will feel like you are their enemy, not their partner. A better method is to approach your customer as if you are their consultant. Ask them questions that will slowly reveal their problems. Discuss the consequences of their problems with them. Let the client feel like they played a part in finding the solution. The problem with this method is that your client needs to trust you. So how can you, as a salesperson, gain their trust? This is where your strategic myth comes in. Very few people want to hear a sales pitch. Everyone would like to hear a good story. Your strategic myth will get clients to listen to you. It will also get them to like and respect you. 
every strategic myth needs a few important features. Your story should introduce you and explain your life before you became a salesperson. Next, tell them what made you enter your industry and the concerns you had. Let them know who inspired you along the way. What were the challenges you faced? Hearing about your story will make your clients relate to you and respect you. Finally, tell the customer about your successes and how you can help them too. At the end of your story, the client will trust you. The best example of the power of a story as a sales tool is charity. Charities don't offer a product. No one gains anything from giving money to charities. However, the most successful charities gather funds by sharing stories with people. A great example of this is Make-A-Wish America. What sets Make-A-Wish apart is their stories. On their website, the charity shares stories of all the children they have helped. They talk about their goals for the future. Their vision is to grant a wish for every child diagnosed with a life-threatening condition. Being able to see the work done by the charity makes people want to donate money. Make-A-Wish also grabs people's attention with their origin story. In 1980, a community in Phoenix got together to grant a wish for a child named Chris. He was dying of leukemia, but he wanted to be a police officer. His town got together to grant his wish. This is the ideal format for your own strategic myth. Your story might not be as touching as that of Make-A-Wish. Still, your story can make your clients relate to you better. Next time you're trying to make a sale, don't argue with your clients. Tell them about yourself before asking how you can help them. Establishing that bond will make selling much easier. How to use a free preview to sell without selling Your strategic myth and the five-step formula are effective sales techniques. But what can you do to convince people who are still hesitating to buy from you? The only method to convince absolutely anyone is through a free preview. A free preview is letting your customer know in advance that what you're selling has value. What is the best way to demonstrate this? This depends on the product you're offering. However, there are some important features of a good preview. A free preview should give your client a clear idea of your product. It should also feel incomplete. What does this mean? Take the example of ice cream shops. Most ice cream shops will give you a free sample of any flavor. The sample, however, will never be large enough to satisfy your craving. But you now know whether you like the flavor or not. If you do like the flavor, then you will buy a tub of it. Use this principle with your own products. Give your clients a small taste of what you have to offer. But do not completely solve their problems for free. How can a lawyer or an accountant provide a free preview? One way to do this is to provide a useful but incomplete service. You will give your client the first step to solving their problem. The remaining steps can only be taken with your assistance. This way you demonstrate your capabilities. You show them you can help them, but they will have to hire you first. For example, think of a personal attorney. They will not give specific legal advice regarding the case for free. However, a lawyer can mention the initial legal procedures. They can clearly educate people on what to do first. This way, the lawyer earns the trust of the client and he is likely to get hired. How about online stores? How can you give free previews online? Live demonstrations are impossible through the internet. The key here is the use of videos. Your demonstrations need to grab the customer's attention. You should push the capabilities of your product to the limit. A great example of this was done by Blendtec a company that sells blenders. On their website, they blended everything they possibly could. One video featured them blending a golf ball. Another video showed them blending iPhones and iPads. They even blended baseballs, skeletons and garden hoses. Would anyone ever want to blend a skeleton? No, but Blendtec videos became a viral internet sensation. The campaign caused a massive increase in the sales of their blenders. Blendtec also started selling Will It Blend merchandise. Did the campaign give us a preview of the blender? It did. A blender that could blend a golf ball could surely blend any food item. Sometimes your product does not have a visible effect. This issue was addressed in a video campaign for blue blocker sunglasses in the 1990s. The sunglasses blocked blue light and made objects look sharper. 
they also blocked out UV rays. However, none of these features could be demonstrated using a camera. Instead, Blue Blocker let people try the glasses on and recorded their reactions. This marketing campaign led to millions of Blue Blocker glasses being sold. Products that use video campaigns have much better online sales. Make your videos informative yet entertaining. How to reach millions of potential clients by tapping into other people's audience, connections and influence. As a business owner, are you making the most of social media? Are you getting hundreds of views but no clients? Have you truly analyzed how Facebook ads work? Social media has significantly changed the marketing industry. You can reach millions of people at a minimal cost. Take the example of Facebook. They assign a relevant score to every ad. Suppose people like, comment and share your ad, the score increases. If people hide your ad or ignore it, the relevant score decreases. Why is it important to have a high relevant score? When that happens, Facebook lets you advertise at a lower cost. In other words, Facebook will give you a discount when you advertise on their platform. So how can you get a high relevant score? Ads that make strong promises generally fail. For instance, you say that your tea will make a person lose weight in seven days. Avoid those kinds of promises. Ads that offer valuable advice to the user usually perform well. For example, a golf coach could share a short tutorial. People will learn something new and share the video. As you have learned earlier, stories work well. Ads that share the stories of past customers get very high relevance scores too. You could even make an ad without your strategic myth. Social media ads are great marketing tools. However, you should never rely entirely on them. Facebook, Twitter and other social media sites are not owned by you. You must never completely depend on someone else's platform. Some businesses have failed because they rely too much on other platforms. The secret to surviving online is to have your own platform. Create a website that belongs to you using a blog publishing system like WordPress. Also, maintain an email list to contact your clients directly. Social media users can easily remove all your content from their platforms. However, no one can touch your blog and email list. Post all your content on your blog and promote it using social media. Building your own audience from scratch can be difficult. You will be stuck making high-quality content for a tiny audience for years. If you want to achieve quick progress, you will need some help. There are plenty of people who already have large followings, for instance, social media influencers, blog owners or podcast hosts. They all have massive audiences that you can reach out to. Your goal is to find high-traffic blogs that allow posts from other people. Traffic in this sense is the number of views, comments and shares a blog has. When you post content on someone else's blog, offer something valuable. Make sure your content is something that people want to see. This is important since the blog owner needs a reason to host your content. Always be polite with blog owners. Try and get to know them first before making your request. On social media, your ideal partners are influencers. Influencers are basically people who have a large number of followers. When you select influencers, make sure their audiences are related to yours. Are you offering health programs for seniors? Then teenage Instagram models are not the right influencers for you. When you find the right influencers, make a connection with them. Praise their content. Let them know how it has influenced you. Do not ask for their help in your first message to an influencer. Focus on establishing a connection first. It will increase your chances of collaborating with them. The internet has made revolutionary changes to marketing. You can find clients like never before. Form partnerships with people who have large audiences. Create content that those audiences will appreciate. Your sales will surely increase. Conclusion First, you learned a unique approach to attracting high-quality clients. To stand out among your competitors, use the strategic myth. The strategic myth is your personal story of how you got into your profession. It creates a bond between you and the client. Second, you learnt about the five-step persuasion formula. It is a method discovered as a result of decades of research. One, you identify a client's desperate problem. Two, you make a unique promise to deliver what they need. Three, you convince them with overwhelming proof of how they should choose you. Four, you will make an irresistible offer that they cannot say no to. 
Five, give them a reason to act now. Third, you learned about the importance of giving a free preview. You learned how to prove the value of what you're selling to any client. Fourth, you were educated on social media marketing. You now know what it takes to reach large audiences through the internet. You also learned how to connect with influencers and how to use their platforms. You might be at a point where you hate your job. You might be thinking that you're just bad at marketing. But the art of selling is just a matter of taking a few small steps. Do your best for your clients. Dream big and pursue your dreams. Always work hard enough to make those dreams come true. If you remember what you have learned and apply these methods, your business will surely thrive. And with that, we come to the end of this summary. I do hope you learned something new from listening to this one. Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for sticking around until the end. If you found this summary helpful and want to discover more fantastic books in a flash, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and become a part of our book loving community. I appreciate you tuning in. And until next time, keep those pages turning. I will catch you in our next video.